Hello. Today I'm gonna talk about some stuff. It's pretty weird, but I like to be weird, so why not? I'm gonna talk about our mind. We're in times right now when a lot of it is changing, a lot is shifting in the whole world and in our psyche and and in our soul and this is happening for everybody on the whole in the whole world in the whole collective the whole planet the whole universe is changing we have a lot of things in in the in the universe a lot of planets that is shifting and there's a lot of magic happening in the, in the universe basically this is enchanting our abilities our human abilities the human people, we are very powerful and I think that we have forgotten how powerful we are. And right now the shift that is happening in the world and within ourselves, it's mostly within ourselves. Everything happens from the inside before it can happen in our external world. So it happens in the mind and it happens in the heart and in the soul. If you feel maybe that you're going a bit crazy <laughs> or that you feel that you don't have control over your mind anymore or control over your emotions and you feel that maybe you, you lost it in a way I want to tell you that you're not alone and you're not going crazy this is happening so we can understand our power in the world again I believe this is mostly my theories but I believe it's true for me at the moment at least my my truth can always change the more I grow and the more I learn, but I want to share my, my thoughts about this. So, there's a lot of people in the world right now who can't be alone with their own thoughts. They or we or whoever, like you or, you know, we, we, people are afraid of being alone with their own thoughts, with their own mind, uh, because Sometimes we can have a voice in our head that is screaming to us or, or telling us very, very mean and nasty things like you should kill yourself, you shouldn't even be alive, why are you alive and stuff like this very heavy, you know, and the, the, the thing with this or the problem with this is that most people in the world, they think that their own thoughts is their own thoughts, but in the reality, it's not their thoughts, it's someone else's thoughts. It may be, may be some kind of entity that has attached to their energy because they are very weak. Like weak aura, and I'm not, telling, I'm not saying that, that people are weak in that sense because we are, we, everyone on this planet is very, very powerful. But if we, are, if we have lived, if we have grown up with tra traumatic experiences, which everyone has, has gone through a traumatic experience in their life. Everyone, we first off, we were born from this. We were in a safe spot in our mother, in her tummy, and that was safe and quiet and dark. And we got the food, we got the nutrition we needed, thanks to our, thanks to our mother's um, body. You know, so we were in this safe little cocoon when we were a little plup <laughs> or a little nothing you know we were like this small and then we grow bigger and then all of a sudden we're we're facing this world we're facing reality and it's 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 so different to us like we were in this safe spot it was warm and comfortable and most people most moms loved us and loved the baby before it was born some mothers didn't really love the child and the baby and Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that we've already, we, everyone has gone through change. Everyone, everyone has gone through a traumatic experience because when we were a little child and all of a sudden we're coming out to this reality and we, we need to use our breath, we need to breathe. We've never done that before when we were a little. So we needed to learn how to talk, we needed to learn how to walk, we needed to, to you know, all of these things to uh, operate in, 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 in the world. and. We were from this in the safe little bubble until coming out into this scary world, you know? And this is just, this is an experience everyone on this planet has gone through, right? And then when we are children, we grew up, we grew, grew, we grow up in different circumstances in our life and we grew up in different experiences. 
everyone is unique, so everyone's, everyone's story is unique, basically. And some people have gone through a lot of hard things in their life, and some people have had it easier. <laughs> I believe that if we had a hard time in our life, in one way or a form, we, we can get stuck in that emotion or we can get stuck in that traumatic experience and relive it over and over again instead of actually healing it and understand that it's in the past and I am here now. If we are weak, and when I say weak, then I mean mostly we have an aura that is weak. And the aura is getting stronger the more we grow, the more we learn, if we take care of ourselves. So I believe strongly that the aura is connected to our chakras and if we're not taking care of our chakras, which is our energy field, and if we don't take care of our chakras, which is the seven chakras is the most important or the biggest one, everyone is important, but we are like a vessel between, between earth and space. We are kind of the, the connection between earth and space. This is all within us. If we are not taking care of our chakras, means uh, it, it makes our aura weaker. And when our aura is weak, when it's uh, try to envision it like a shield around you. So it's kind of like an energy shield. Can't really see it, of course, with with our my, like with our eyes at the moment. Or there's some people who actually can see our auras uh, if we have a very active. Um, third eye chakra for an example. I know there's like cameras that take, can take photograph of your aura. If we're not taking care of our chakras, it means that the aura around us is getting weak. Um, and when it's weak, it can, other entities can attach to our, to our aura. It can be entities that we know, like it can be people, so we can connect. So our chakra or our energy field is basically connecting to to people we know, people we love, um, like in an ener energetic shores, shores, yeah, so like, like a string of energy, basically. Uh, it can also attach to ourself, but past memories of ourself or past lives within this lifetime. So maybe when we were five years old and we get stuck in that emotion and we're still in that emotion and it's attached to us. I also believe that we can attach to entities that isn't alive anymore. So basically, I don't want to say ghosts, but entities that is all around us. So ghost is such a it's mis a misused word. When I say ghost, you probably just think about you know like a white. <laughs> Uh, a white shadow or something like this but it's not really like that of course we can maybe see that sometimes depends on your third eye chakra our human eyes at the moment is not able to see this this entities because it's just energy we can't really see energy we can't really look at Wi-Fi for an example we can't see the Wi-Fi signal but we know it's a Wi-Fi signal because we can we can see it on our phone you know, or, or something like this. And but it's still there. The signal the signal is still there, you know. And Bluetooth signal, all of these things, all of these technology things, has actually helped us to realize that there's there's signals in the in the around us that we cannot see, we cannot hear, we cannot touch it, but it's still there because our eyes is not used to used to seeing it. We don't really need it to survive our human body at the moment. So why should our body learn to see something if we don't really need it uh, to survive, for our species to survive or for, for to just live and enjoy life? So, so if you have a weak aura, I believe, then entities can attach to your aura. And this can be entities that is good or bad it's uh, I hate words <laughs> I, I not hate but it's so hard for me to try to explain this especially in English also language is very limited so I can't really use the correct words of what I'm trying to to say to you but I hope you understand and if you don't understand then maybe you're not ready to understand a lot of people are afraid to being with their own mind because there's you know there's a 
there's a voice in our head that is telling us to do things that is not good or that is actually want, wants to harm us in a way or want to harm other people and the thing is that people actually listen to this voice and they do these things because they think it's their own voice in a way when in reality it's not it's not your voice it's maybe actually a, a entity that is uh, not wanting the best for everyone if, if you understand what i mean like the devil energy i'm just gonna take an example here the devil card is really like this for me if you have a voice in your head and it's telling you to to do things that you don't really want to do like deep inside but it's telling you to do it because it's scary or like it's telling you to if you don't do this then uh, this will happen but in reality it's not the truth because it's just wanting to scare you so you can so you can be controlled by the voice in your head most of the reasons why we can get a weak aura or something like this is when we don't take care of ourselves and this can be drinking alcohol i think that alcohol is making the aura weaker i also think that certain drugs can make it weaker a lot prescription drugs prescription drug drugs i also believe that tobacco can make it weaker because I also think that weed can make it weaker and, and psychedelics can also make it weaker. Everything that we are doing in excess or that we are doing it more than we should do it or we, we are using something, maybe a substance or food or sex or overtraining or like doing things too much for ourselves that is not in a healthy way or that is not in a balanced way therefore we can we're distorted or we're we're losing grip of our aura because we're doing things that is not good for our body training is obviously a good thing to do but if we're overdoing it then it's it's gonna be too exhaust exhausting for our body this is just examples i'm not really sure what i'm talking about either so take it with a grain of salt or how you how you now say it so if we start to take care of, of, of our chakras and we start to take care of our aura then the aura gets stronger it's like the shield getting stronger and no entities has the ability to attach to us because we're repelling away the negative negative energies from our from our energy field and in order to do this we can do meditation meditation is a great way to strengthen our aura it, it will also help you to understand your mind better because in, be, in the beginning when when people have haven't really meditated before um, we have all of these thoughts so there's a lot of thoughts and that's why most people stop doing it also because it's like no i can't meditate because my mind is everywhere but it's kind of supposed to be like that in the beginning and the more we do it in a very like practice manner so every day actually every day or, or two times every day that's even better morning and, and evening uh, the more we're getting into a practice and we're actually doing it and um, in a very structured structured way the more our mind is going to calm itself down and at some point in the future it's going to be it's not even going to think instead of attaching to our thoughts which we may be doing especially in the beginning of meditation or when you've never really meditated before we will attach to our thoughts and and go in a spiral within the thought instead of just letting it go we will think a lot when we start with meditation um, but the thing is not to attach to the thought and every time we, we get stuck in a thought we can see or we, we notice oh shit now i'm thinking against so observing it and like oh i thought I, I had a thought there okay well now I'm, I'm just gonna let it drift away and i'm gonna focus on my breath again for an example or focus on a mantra or focus on my body my body sensations or or stuff like that and i suggest starting with guided meditations because then you're needing to listen to the other person what they are telling you to do which is easier than to tell it yourself for yourself so it's easier to listen to someone else sometimes than to just do it by yourself so that's a tip for me other things that you can do to have a more balanced chakras and more strengthen your aura in a way is to eat healthy when I say eat healthy, I mean no processed food, no fast food, 
uh, candy or like sugar or, or like fake sugar. So fruit sugar is good, but eating stuff that is natural to us. Um, there's actually a lot of healthy food today that's, that tastes good also. Because <laughs> I remember when I was younger, I was like, Ugh, I hate a healthy food because it just tastes like crap. But that's not really true. I mean, we have a lot of good, good fruits, for an example. Like we have so much fruits in the world that it's, it's mm, like, it's amazing. Like mango, papaya, just strawberries, like berries. Oh my God. I'm really wanting, like I'm craving berries right now. So not eating shit basically and starting eating natural things everything that is natural for us uh, i think also fasting can be a good thing to do from time to time i also suggest no meat um, to, like it, this is not really like can i have a pretty different opinions about this actually i i eat meat sometimes maybe like two or three times a year it kind of depends but most of my, my, my year I don't eat meat. I know that it's something that has died. And usually the, the meat that is like the animals that we kill today, they are killed in a very, very brutal manner. So it's not like we're killing the animal and we're making it not suffering. The animals that we kill today in the meat industry are suff they are suffering a lot. So. Basically, when we're eating meat that has been suffered, we will suffer. Because everything that we put in our body is an energy. How that animal grew, grew up, that's kind of uh, that's kind of the energy that we get into our body, you know? So if you're gonna eat meat, <laughs> then I suggest to eat it from a farm that they take really good care of the animals before they kill them, and they kill them in a, in a way that is not hurting them and they're not suffering. In the best thing to do is not eat meat at all, actually. And to, to eat fr fruit and veg veggies inst instead. I mean, we have so much beautiful things from our nature that is basically handed, it's handed to us from Mother Nature so we can eat it. Nuts, fruits, vegetables you know potato all of these things we, we there's so, so much so much and some people are saying oh but how should i get my protein in i need protein but there's actually a lot of protein in some vegetables like broccoli and i'm not sure which ones i'm not a nutri nutrition can't say that word but you understand i'm not that i don't know about that at all i don't know so much actually i'm just talking right now and letting things flow from my mouth. I'm using my throat chakra to just just expressing myself and my own experiences. I can't with experience say that I feel much worse if I eat meat compared to when I don't eat meat. I feel that I suffer because I've put I've eaten something that has suffered for me. Like that's why I suffer also because it's the animal suffered so more things that you can do to strengthen your aura or to have more balance with your chakras is also, you know, there's so many things. I don't even know actually, like there's so much and we have all of the information out there on the internet. We have this helping hand to help us to find the information that we need. Um, but yoga, of course, yoga is a really good thing to balance your chakras or to strengthen your aura. To do things that you enjoy doing and not do things just to survive, but actually to do things that you love to do. And I know it can be hard sometimes, especially in the world that we're living in right now and the mentality of that we need to work hard to get in money. That's actually mostly in our mind, so if we can shift our mindsets into saying reverse like it is flow money is easy for me to get in money it's easy of course we need to work hard that's not what i'm saying but it's a different thing on on what we work with because when we work with things that we enjoy doing i love to write i love to write I love to talk <laughs> to a camera and uh, you know do tarot cards and 
take photographs and make videos and edit videos and when I do all of these things that I enjoy doing or painting and it's a painting oh, especially painting with oil oil colors on like a big canvas it's oh I love that anyway my hobbies so your hobbies when you're doing your hobbies you enjoy doing them you you don't you don't do them just because you you need to do them like you do it because you enjoy doing it and then it doesn't really feel like hard work it doesn't feel like work because you're having fun i think it's really important for us to start following our hobbies and in a way those hobbies of yours will in the future because we need to keep on doing it it's not like we're just gonna start painting and all of a sudden i'm a millionaire like we need to find, like, we just need to uh, develop our abilities in a way. So the more we develop our abilities, the easier it's going to be. And then we also need to, you know, find, or uh, the people that likes it needs to find your crafts, which can be hard if we don't know how to uh, mar marketing, for an example, and stuff like that. But, uh, so it may take some time before we really can live from our hobbies or abilities or the things that we're good at but the thing is to never give up and even though we feel that we fail we just pick ourselves up again and so i think that can also help to strengthen your aura to just let go of the mind a bit i mean there's so many people in the world that is fucked we are so attached to our mind and i think we need to attach to our hearts more because this is where the uh, this is where the wisdom is. Our mind is a beautiful tool. Don't don't uh, mis misunderstand me. Our mind is beautiful. Like our mind is so smart. We are a very smart species. <laughs> we are very smart human peoples, and we should use our brain. We should do that. But it's a it's a different meaning of using it when we need to use it and letting it go when we don't need it and we are in a certain situation and we really need to use our mind then we should do it but then when we're done with the task or we're done with the activity that we needed our mental process for we can let it go and we can be in our body instead or be in our heart instead and that takes practice as with everything in life everything takes practice that's why we are here we are here to learn we are here to grow we are here to evolve and we are here to learn and the more we do things, the more we learn. I love to read books. I've read a book called The Power of Now. I, I got it. I got the tips from, uh, from my Israeli friend Ariel. And uh, when I was in India two years ago, time. He was reading the book at the moment when we met and he told me to read it. Uh, everything that we have is now and we have a lot of spiritual teachers in the world or who was in the world who has told us this. And, like we all we have is this now everything that was in the past it's a, it's not it's not reality anymore the things that is in the future it's not the reality and this is everything that we have this now because if you think back to a memory you were in the now at that memory you know we're always in the now so i suggest reading that book if you haven't already i also suggest you to read ramda's book be here now i actually haven't even read that book but I will. I'm gonna read a book when I, when it's time. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really know what I'm talking about or how this subject changed, but don't attach to your thoughts so much because most of your thoughts, it's not even your thoughts. But this was everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. I'm not even sure what I talked about, but remember that you're not crazy. Most people in the world is going through this now, so chill, just let it go. You're not alone, I'm never alone. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more when I'm talking about shit. If you are into tarot readings, you can follow my tarot channel. I have the link in the box down below. Bye!